Hello world and welcome back, I'm Kyra the Great Bear of the North and this is While True Learn, where you take the role of a machine learning programmer, you help, machine le you help machines learn, and you help your bank account grow at the same time. Now we do have a self-driving car startup, that's pretty good. And this is a National Heritage Protective System. Oh, and just before, if this is the first time you've seen this episode, uh, the, you've seen this series of this game, very much is in still a very early build stage. It's still very alpha. It's point. It's 0 0.0.16. This is still still very much changing, but it's fun. Check them out. Um, good morning. We have dozens of scientific equipment in protected areas made to look over the objects of National Heritage. We receive info from our equipment on a daily basis and need to sort it depending on the color of the report. We need to make it work better and react faster. Will you, help, will you make a program that will help us? Yes, we'll totally do this. And we need to sort red, green, and blue. And this is pretty straightforward. This is your simple... Oops. Oh, oh, we cannot do that. Okay. This is your simple decision tree. All the reds will automatically go up here. All the blues will automatically go down here. But if you're green and you come here, you're not red or blue, what? you'll choose something randomly. So some of the greens will go here, some of the greens will go there, but this second system will shunt them. I'm going to release this. I already know this will work. There we go. Fantastic. That's a really quick sort. And our self-driving car is still making money. But you know what? Let's rework this. Let's rework this because all of this is taking 0 0.286, 0 0.286, 0 0.286. And it's taking, it's taking a while. But what we can do is, since we just created a custom node, RGB sort. That's actually, it will sort everything into three in only 0.286 seconds. This will take 0.286 and then an additional 0.286. So this actually makes the progress that much faster. This is going to be all red. Um, all the green is going to go down that way, and then all the blue. So this should actually run slightly faster. Ba -ba 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 Boom! There we go. And we're still using these decision trees as uh, as kind of a, a cheap way to force something to 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 split and to paralyze, um, par parallelize, not paralyze, parallelize. So yeah, it's taking 21.9 seconds, so replacing that decision tree with a single RGB sort system is saving us about 4 seconds per, 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 per decision, which is good. But hey, I have a clothing store, and I want to know how much money I may get during holiday sales. Help me! Okay, so I'll accept them. Again, red, green, blue, custom nodes. Let's just get in an RGB sort. But you know what we can do? We can make that even faster by dropping in a parallelization. There we go. And we will do two RGB sorts. Boom. Red. Green. Blue. Red. Green. Blue. Test run. And this would be saved as RGB quick sort. Because whenever you're doing one of these programs and you save it, the time that it will take the uh, when you use it as a custom node is based on the first process. So if you start off by parallelizing things, your next processes your next processes will be that much faster. And I'll show you what I mean. Boo! RGB sorts. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how quick that's going. Boom! All that was done in 9.8 seconds. Now here we're gonna rework our startup to make it even faster. This RGB sort is 0.286 seconds. But if we check out this RGB, oh, we don't have RGB quick sort, right? Because this particular system doesn't allow parallelization, which is why we had to kind of fake it through here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just see what would happen if we didn't do the parallelization. Would it go any, f how long would it take? Will we reach bottlenecks? No, we're not reaching any bottlenecks. Oh, we're starting to. Yeah, we are. Although it is... Yeah, it's, it's, it's higher this way. So doing the, um, the fake parallelization actually works. Oh, startup is, is auto-saved. Oh, dears. Okay, we need to reconnect these. But... 
Oh, I just connected blue to that. We don't we want blue to be junked. Green goes there. There we go. That works. Fantastic. Okay. So we are going to save that again just to make sure that it goes back to the a most optimized way. And we can do another startup, which is a self-driving car. Um, it's actually not a self-driving car. It's something called a Gamazon. Or Gamazon. Um, but I'm not very good at that particular algorithm. So I'm not going to show you that because I will go bankrupt. That's actually how I went bankrupt last time. This is the fourth time I've recorded this particular episode. But anyways, good morning. We are a scientific laboratory that researches human behavior. We need to extract the data for our last research from our equipment across the city. This is some very important information, so please be very accurate. Accuracy is only 50%. Clearly, they don't care. We need red and we need green. Boom. So the red will go here. Green will go down here. And what happens to the blue? We don't care where the blue goes, because the blue could go up here or the blue could go down here. But our accuracy is only 50%. But there are four times as many red and green, each respectively, as there are blue. So it's not going to drop our accuracy below 50%. We're just going to release this. Look at it go. The blues will spread across, and it, we, don't, we don't care, right? We're giving them junk data. Look at all the money for self-driving car. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm, I'm going to cancel this particular... Yeah, game is on. Good day to you. My name is Jeff. Jeff Bezos, owner of Amazon, right? I own a small online bookstore. I need your help in choosing the logistics company depending on the buyer's region and type of the book ordered. I would love to automatize the process with the help of the special program, but I'm not experienced in this sort of things. I offer you a share of sales done with the help of your system. Please note that all data must be processed. All right, just to show you, this is, this is crazy, sorting it by this. And you need all of these targets to be hit. So you need to sort by shape and, and by color, and it's not, I'm not good at that particular one. So I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to make you guys think that I'm an idiot. Hmm? Right. Hey, good afternoon. It's Moneybags Bank. We want you to create a system for sorting candidates for receiving credits in order to reduce the number of errors. We would be happy if you'd complete the task before the holidays. I don't know why he talked like that, um, but he, he did, the bank guy. So decision tree color. Basically, we want to sort out only red up here. Only red. If we let in more than one of the green or blues up here, it will be disastrous because that will change our accuracy rating. So red will automatically be sorted up there. That's good. We want green down here. So let's sort for green. And then so let's sort away the blues down here. The blue will go down there. And green and blue will go down there. Because we don't care if green and blue both go down here. Even if they all went down, we would still have 80% accuracy, right? 40% green, 10% blue. That's fine. And also, we only have 40 greens, but we need 41 units to make it down here. So we do need some of the blues to get down here, right? I'll show you what I mean. There you go. The accuracy started off low, but it gains consistently higher because there are more greens than reds, than blues. There you go. Accuracy, 80%. Fantastic. Perfect. Going to release this. There you go. Look at it go. Look at it go. Boo, 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 boo. Run away. Um, yeah, there's all the reds in one basket. There's all the greens and the blues in another. And it's fantastic. And our self-driving car is still making money. It's great. Border crossing control system. Good afternoon. We're offering you a contract on improving the security system of our borders. Our cameras detect a lot of violators. You must write a system that will determine the type of vehicle that criminals use and pass the violation protocol to the optimal checkpoint in order to arrest them. Ugh. The most popular types of crossing the borders are on foot, by car, and with the help of a giant slingshot. Accept the job. So we're going to do this. And we eventually do need to sift for basic shapes. So is there any automatic processes we can do? We can do autom only triangle in 1.19, but that actually throws out the um, the extra materials. So we don't want that. I think we will, however, want to do this sorting process in parallel. So there we go, four parallels. We're gonna do a sift up here. And this sift will look for, okay. There's 60 triangles. We need 40 of the only triangles to be down here. So all of our triangles will be sent down to here, right? So what do we do with the circles and the squares? Well, if it is a circle, 
we want it to go up here because we need more of those than down here. Actually, if it's a circle or square, this one will send circles and squares both up to here, right? This sifting process is going to be the second one. We're again going to filter up the triangles. Oops. Filtering up the triangles, go down there. And so, again, this first stage will just sift out the triangles. Come on. There we go. So, triangles, triangles. Now, we need circles, squares, triangles to go to these, but we also need some to go elsewhere. So, this one is going to feed this one. We only need 10. We should be okay with this. This one is going to feed here, but we need 30 of this. So this extra one is, is also going to send circles and squares down to here. So this one will get circles and squares. This one will get circles and squares. This one will get circles and squares from two different units. And this one gets triangles from all four sifters. Right? Makes sense? Let's see how this goes. We might need to tweak the, the relative ratios, but... Um, oh, we definitely need more parallelization. Or do we? Because everything's going through. We do have a lot of time for this process. Yet we should be pretty good. All our triangles are coming down through here. Boom. Good. We did it with 12 seconds to spare. Yeah, so uh, the accuracy is 100%. We didn't get any of our wires crossed. Um, although the accuracy does start to matter once you start to deal with uh, machine learning, which can actually start to make some pretty cool errors. Uh, and you, then you need to balance out for that, and you need to do error checking. And it's 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 fun. It's fun. Um, they do definitely need some interface, uh, some UI tweaks with this, but uh, it's a great game, and I'm loving it. I'm loving this game quite a bit. Oh, uh, we can go back to the store, get some new oh, get some new nodes. But the nodes are all coming soon. Um, right. So we're going to get a home server, which de decreases server costs by 5%. And we're going to increase data transfer speed by 5% with our new router. Fantastic. So, good morning. I need to know who to vote for. Can you predict the winner of the next presidential election? We will send you a big database. And here's the thing. We need all our blues out here as quickly as possible. The reds and the greens don't actually really matter. So we're gonna whoop, we're gonna not do it that way. We're gonna do a custom node. We're gonna get a four parallel, right? And then a decision tree. We're going to get blues there. And greens we're gonna throw in the trash. So what happens to the reds? Well, half of them will go through this. Half of them will go into the trash. The other half of them will go down to here. So at most. Uh, uh, Let's just say they all decided to go down through here. We'd end up having 300 blues once we get four of these set up in parallel. And we get six reds. That's still going to be much higher than the 80% that we need. So we're going to be fine. We are going to be fine with this. Again, blue goes down there. Green goes down there. Come on. Come on. Connect all these. Do a lot of clicking. Let's, again, just make sure these are all the same, just so that it's easier for us to understand what's going on. Blue goes there. Blue, that's uh, not the entire node. Blue goes there. Green goes there. Green goes there. Release, because I know this will work. Boom. Look at that. Look at all the greens go, all the blues going in, all the reds going the other way. We might need to speed up the processing, though. Yeah, we need eight of these to go. Because we're just not getting the, we're, this just isn't being done quickly enough. Okay. Okay. So let's get that parallelization. We're going to get another par parallelization right up here. And oh boy. And we're going to have to do all of that all over again, which isn't fun. Or we can do it in an RB, RGB quick sort. Yeah, the quick sort is actually the fastest way to do this. The quick sort is easily the fastest way to do this. RGB quick sort. There we go. There's one blue, red, and green. We'll actually we'll put we'll siphon the red down here, anyways. Um, there we go. 
send the red up through there, the blue over through there, and the trash can will go over. Uh, the, the, the green will go to the trash can. There we go. That's much faster. And we can always add an extra two of these. Uh, if we need to, but I don't think we need to. Uh, we might. Yeah, we need to get through this a little bit faster. So, there's two quick sorts. Whoops. We'll get the four paralyzation, parallelization here. One, two, and some more quick sorts. There we go. There we go, fantastic. Red, green, blue, red. Nope, red, green, blue, and release. This will work. We just doubled our speed, right? Look at it go. Look at it go. Woo! Actually, will this even work? Yeah, this should work. Eek. It's really tight for time, but I don't know how to speed this up. How do we how do we speed this up? Um Oh, oh, not all of our we can still send some greens into here. We can still send some greens into this one, which will decrease our accuracy, yes, but it'll increase the rate at which this bar fills up. So we're sending some of the greens down. Hopefully this will still stay above 80%. We're basically feeding them junk data. It's not quite what they were looking for. But it's uh, it's pretty good. There we go. With 0.3 seconds to spare. All right, there we go. Whew. Good. We predicted the pre predicting. We just predicted a presidential election. Love it. And I guess the prediction is that the Blues will win. Which I guess will have different meanings depending on which country we're in. But uh, but yeah, there we go. All right, our startup is still making some good money i love it oh cash we're gonna get cash from hey what's up buddy how are you listen i remember that i could not pay you a long time and i'm very grateful to you that you did not demand it for so long but to be that even to a friend is not cool right therefore take this money i return everything that i owe to you thank you friend you really helped me out yeah and how about we go to a concert next week 1478 amazing cool cool that was good now can we, can we rework this can we make this any faster um I don't, I don't know if we can. We do a red-green divide. Mm. No, it's not going to make anything any faster. What we need to do is we need to get parallel, parallelization, but we can't. So, you know what? I think that's as fast as we can get our, our self-driving car started to go. So, task 18. Observations of Mars. Hello, I own a space observation station. In this year, I've made a lot of photos. Now I need to process them in order to find Mars on them. I need it for my last research. Can you help me with this task? Cool. And we get a bunch of input, and there's one red circle, and that's all we need. That's all we need. So we're actually going to start by running parallel. Actually, you know what? This would be a good time for the only red. Right? Only red fast. Let's do this, only red. Let's actually get, let's do this in parallel. Let's get two of these running. Um, only red fast, there we go. And then after this, it will do a sift. All the reds will get sent through this to do a sift for the, for the red circle. Everything else will be trashed. Let's, is it really this simple? Come on. There we go. We're not, we're not, we don't have a bottleneck here. There we go. It's that simple. Oh, I like that. That was quick. That was quick. Very nice. And there's Mars again. Next project. Fantastic. Oh, good morning. Our center helps in the ex extraction of data from, from social surveys. We're facing issues and almost reached our deadline. Please write a program that can extract as much information as po fast as possible. Please write something self-learning. Ooh. Now, World Champion versus Genetic Algorithm. One of the greatest chess games of all time is, without a doubt, the battle between Garry Kasparov and the Deep Blue Supercomputer by IBM in 1997. The first game was very difficult and tense. Kasparov had an advantage at first, but started 
Starting from move 44, many believe that he ceased to understand the logic of the computer and in the end lost the entire match. So we need to separate red, green, and blue. And here's the thing, this is cool, this is cool. We can feed this data into a duplicate. And what this is gonna happen is, uh, actually no, we don't need the duplicate right now. This um, genetic solver, you know, it's, it's a train model in a test run, right? Uh, and then we hit the uh, evolve until the evolve button doesn't light up anymore. And that's when we know that the data that this particular genetic solver is maxed um, its its potential, I guess. Um, so one of the most powerful self-learning non-neural algorithms, it simulates biological evolution process, proliferation, mutation, extinction, and only solutions which, and only solutions which are close to the optimum survive. So this will attempt to take this, the colors and spread them, but it will be wrong, right? So we're going to do a test run. Boom. There we go. And it failed, right? And our error went from 75 down to about 66. But if we put in a duplicate, it will actually send, take the 10, 10, 10, and we'll make it 30, uh, 20, 20, 20. And so we'll actually solve, our, um, we'll be better at solving for genetics. And I just evolved our genetic solver. And we're gonna test it again. Boom, look at that. Yes, we do have a bottleneck here, but that's okay. 42%, we're gonna evolve that again. Test run. I mean, I guess I could have split this into three. Here, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to evolve this, put some of it back to that particular evolution. There we go. I'm gonna take the duplicate, split it into three, and whichever one ends up being closer to the, uh, whichever one is, is more error-free, we'll pick that. And then the other ones will be passed by the wayside. There we go. But each one of them has about 9% um, uh, error. So we'll just run it through. And this is pre-trained genetic. Look at that. Boom. Accuracy is 95%, 96%. So this is good. This is a success. This is a success. Self-driving car is making money. Love it. And we have our cash. Uh, cash flow is good from the latest job. But this is the end of this episode. I'm Car the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like to see, please like, please subscribe. Uh, please comment down below. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Facebook. Support indie developers. I'll put a link in this in the, in the description box below. Please click on it. But most importantly, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all next time in the world of machine learning on Wild True Learn. Bye, guys.